the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth it is the grace of our lord that we has been renewed one more day in our life so that we could learn more doctrine and build up ourselves into the real of wall of fire to the extension of the known fact to be understood that though we all are baptized in one spirit to have fellowship in him when we are failing to grow up in that spirit of being learnt and taught when lord god the holy spirit mentors us when we use rebound we the believers are failing to reach the wall of fire ground The wall of fire is a fortification for the believer who advances towards Bible doctrine, who is cracking the maturity barrier and stays there to learn the word of the Lord more evidently, more clearly than the physical breath he thinks it's more important, and then the physical food he thinks he could survive. Satan, in this period of this 20th century of our Lord, always has a counterattack towards doctrine. the first thing what it wants to do it wants to neutralize the things pertaining to christ the things that have already learned and second after neutralizing it wants to get back to you and tell to give you the counterfeit of doctrine and that is what it is happening today in our pulpits many of the people who have not learned the doctrine are trying to explore and expose themselves into the realm which satan has already made a big counterfeit the religions which are no way considered to be in the bible they want to claim and understand what it is and what it is not they want to have something associated with the name of christmas and it has become a great pain in our neck that this man who first of all they're ignorant to grow up in the knowledge of bible doctrine or to take a thorough training upon a right bona fide gifted pastor teacher who trains you up because once you will not understand the entire bible it will blow off your mind you need to take in a day by day process therefore it is not a celebration of new year for you it is a day by day by day renovation of your thinking which is most required for us to be understood the great renovation of our thinking day by day to be upgraded it means to say day by day you need to give time for bible doctrine and when you give time for bible doctrine you will learn and the rate of learning will exceed the rate of forgetting and when you are in this process the counter attacks by satan to neutralize the doctrine that you have learned will be failed satan cannot even come close neither it can even touch or it can even influence you by the pseudo doctrines there is no demonic possession today for a believer because already the believer has been possessed by lord god the holy spirit lord god the father and lord god the son and which has been termed out as trinity the only thing where the believer could be possessed today is not into the realm of xyz of satan but he can have influence of satan satan's teaching false teachers who are also shining like the glorious gospel of light it is no wonder when satan itself can change into the glorious of light why not the ministers will change set apostle paul in long back through our law dear brethren why we are not able to understand the simple things because we are negligent to know the truth by giving number one priority for doctrine we are negligent to know that we are been called to be the history pages and history pillars being recorded and kept for us in eternity past we are negligent to understand that every believer is been called to be a great pillar in the sight of the history book pages of my lord we are not here to just rule the cities like the old testament saints even abraham and moses can rule only the cities but we have been given the great worth of all time which has been termed out as alike indicates new spiritual spaces unto christ and you have been called to rule the nations 
and the description about the temple of God in Revelation 11. So that we can have a great anawagi straightened out with Revelation 3, 11 and 12. The one who he overcomes will be pillar in the temple of my God. The overcoming of what? Overcoming about these things which have been present for you, which can divert your mind from divine viewpoint, which can easily neutralize and cause you to think that this is right, which is not at all there in the Bible. It's a great pain for us to note the way how in the parable of Luke, the bond man was pleading, the one who was tilling the land, this one more year, Lord, and if it is not giving the fruit, then cut it off. Dear brethren, it is the grace of our Lord for us to know to be known as believers in Christ. That we need to be the fruits of our Lord. And for unbelievers, it is the grace of our Lord being bestowed graciously when God becomes God man through his Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And I don't want to speak to other religions. They have their own origin, they have their own thinking, they have their own mindset, they have their own reasoning. But we have only one reasoning taken from the Bible, which is God breathed. And I don't think it is required for me to look what their teaching teaches except to be headed upon religion. In religion, man tries to gain the approbation of God by doing good works. In Christianity, it is a relationship with Lord God the Father through his only begotten Son on the cross, who died for you and for me as a substitute of spiritual death. And we don't look upon anything else apart from that. And we are here to look upon doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. After believing in Christ, the thinking we point. And again, you may ask about the popery difference and the Protestant difference. Yes, you are right. The popery of 11 books extra, which have been given for us, apocryphal one, we don't believe in it. Because they are not canonical. The canonicity rule has been failed in them. And the real origin of apostleship and the prophets has been really failed in them. If not the Emperor Domitian who had come in the year 311 BC, AD, if we wouldn't have given an order to burn out all the scriptures, we wouldn't have found the four necessary points to establish this canonicity. But even among, even among that, the 11 apocryphal books which we don't believe as Protestants, praying to the dead, practicing a try of necromancy, is no way considered, which could be as an idol worship. And Lord hates idol right from the beginning. No one can give an image to my God, which the word of the Lord alone can give and expose to us to understand the truth. But there are enough people to understand this reality, but rather want to speculate and compare the things pertaining, what it is going to happen, what it will be, rather than becoming to be concentrative upon, to know the things that have been left over to take in and to concentrate upon doctrine and to grow up. Dear brethren, many men might have thought that this could be the great year for us in prediction, telling that welcoming 2016. And what happened to 2015 when they welcomed the same time, the same type last year? This is what the world will think, will try to understand by changing the numbers. But with our Lord, it is not the days or the years that you count. It, my Lord, it is every day that is accountable, having grown up to the knowledge of Christ or not. So that you can pull down the false imaginations which go against the doctrine of Christ. You can break down their imaginations and tell, yes, doctrine alone shall reign forever and forever because my Lord has honored his word above his name. Then when I am his son, when I am his servant, I need to honor his word more than my life above his name. But we are not magnifying the truth. Though we have been born and taken with a price, a price to the great redemption work done by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the cross, the last Adam, the Alekini Ketesus generation, the church age believers, no difference between the Jews or the Israelites or any other one who could be or here on this earth. No racial discrimination. Anyone who believes in India, China, Japan, or Korea, or any of the Arab countries, any part of the world, any nick and corner of the world you take. When they believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, now they are the church. 
They are not only the church, but they are being termed out with great privilege of equal one and equal opportunity to become a winner believer, to become a pillar in the record room of my God. And to become a pillar in the record room of God, it requires to understand the true definition of a church. The church, which is the ground and pillar of truth. If there is no doctrine to be taught in the church by the pastor teacher who need to communicate, then how you will become a pillar? That's what the duty of Apostle Paul was. I have been made a minister to make every believer perfection and completion in the knowledge of Christ. His time was running short. He couldn't spend the time that we are able to spend in one place now. And you know what? The technology was also not so superior what we can think of today. Though we might have come in the temple room at the exact accounting system what we can notice today in the computer realm of banking. Today we have greater advantage than them. A greater advantage of technology. Sitting at any corner of the world can reach to the any nick and corner of this world by the so-called WWW. Dear brethren, if Apostle Paul would have had that opportunity to preach, maybe he would have done it with a great work. And what God got the Holy Spirit seemed fit for us to be revealed through the canonization of the scripture with the completed one and make us to understand the post-canon period with the church age pastor, teacher, gifts. Pastor, wife, and teacher. The gift of an evangelist. Lord God, the Holy Spirit seemed fit for us what it is necessary for us to be taken. What is to be reserved and kept for us forever. What a great privilege it is for us to note that we are being there in this unique dispensation of the church in the 21st century of our Lord. And then too, what are we doing? We want someone to plead and ignore, to plead upon ourselves and ask, Lord, grant him one more year so that this year at least he can grow up in the knowledge of doctrine. It is not this year, it is, has to be this day. There is no time for us to waste in the person who is ignorant. There is no time for us to think who comes three days straight to the class and, left the, and leaves the classes for remaining 10 or 20 days. It is the doctrine we are communicating. We cannot waste our time. Every day, every day, every day is accountable to my Lord. And we are accountable to the logistical grace which Lord has bestowed upon us. In this logistical grace, some turned out to become believers, winner believers, and some out, turned out to become losers. In this earth that we go through, there is a chance that we can be from below poverty line and come back to the middle class and then go to the high class. As and on, we earn the money and take the things pertaining to it. But in the historical records of heaven, when once you have been kaput, taken out, what you have left over here without learning Bible doctrine will show forth for you to learn to understand how much you have ignored the word of Christ. Because you will be for eternity peons. If you have been classified in the classification of the winner believers and the loser believers in the eternity, what you have, that is what it will be for you. Except the resurrection body, nothing to show for it. Most if in us, no crowns. No capacity built up to rule nations. Even the tough nations when we come in the millennium to be ruled. Including this Arabites. Dear brethren, at the word of my Lord, every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow that he is the king, he is the master, he is the redeemer, he is the savior. With man all things are not possible. But with Christ our Lord, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with my Lord. And when we have been graciously bestowed this year, this time, this day, it is not that we count to neutralize the doctrine what you have learned through satanic influence, but rather it is a time for us to learn more because the rate of learning should exceed the rate of forgetting. And if we are not able to get and to come and to understand that the rate of learning should be greater than the rate of forgetting, then take it granted. You will be trapped around, not ignorant about the cunning fables of Satan. And when you are not ignorant about the cunning fables of Satan, dear brethren, 
You are living a life that is a lie. You are living a life that is a burden for you to be left. A life that which is no way possible for you to understand because you are believing lies. And when you build up your foundation upon lies, there is nothing that you can understand apart from that. There has to be the truth, the truth, and the truth alone. And if it is not the truth in any manner that we need to take, then your burden is lies. The pastor teachers who don't have the bona fide gift, trying simply to stand by taking some information from the nets and causing the people to understand that this is the truth, that is the truth, is really a great burden upon the people who do not cross-check with the real languages of the scriptures written in the Bible for us and take them as a true source of definition and of truth. It's of a great pain for us to understand how much more it would be for Lord God, the Holy Spirit, who has been constantly grieved and squelched when you're out of fellowship, trying to believe and discern those things which is not right. Though you have thrice your PhDs in the religion trends that may be pleasable for you to have knowledge about Satanism, but with Christ it is nothing. When the Bible says in Psalms 33 4, Jehovah is right and is always faithful. The word of the Lord is always right. Do you know the clearer definition of it? To understand the clearer depth of it, we need to go back to the great dictionaries and lexicons which are right. We need to go back and cross check in the original languages, the original language of Hebrew and then the Greek. Dear brethren, many people will rise with many questions, many answers, many reasonings. But now the period is must to be concentrated first upon mystery, doctrine of the church age, the unique spiritual life, the protocol plan of God. And then later on, it is a doctrine that you need to know each and every facet, the height, the breadth, the length, the depth. Height representing to God, the depth representing to Satan. The length and the width which represents the various facets of the dispensations in Christ. And you know what it takes? It takes a day-by-day -day learning. Whether you take it, believe it, consider it or not, it takes a day-by-day -day process of renovation in your thinking. Do not ever think, within a flash of a second, within the magic of an eye, I can understand. That I can become a pillar of my Lord. No. The believer who gives number one priority no matter what. No matter what may come including the death in his own family. No matter what may come he will never stop. To take this word will be into that race of winner believers a history pillar. It is not that every believer has not been given equal privilege and equal opportunity. It is a fact that every believer has been given equal privilege and equal opportunity, whether you take it, believe it, consider it or not. Every believer has been given equal privilege and equal opportunity, dear brethren. Every believer can be like Apostle Paul, except for the apostleship. Every believer can record a big pillar like Apostle John, Apostle Peter. The only difference, what we can find, we're not comparing to the Old Testament saints like King David. Even King David fought the battles of the Lord and a sure house was built upon him. Even today, we have to fight the battles of the Lord and now we need to construct the pillar of the temple of Christ. And every believer is a pillar in Christ. We are being called out as an assembly, an assembly being built upon each and every nick and corner of the pillar. Being bounded by each and every stone, which is a brick again, a believer, says Peter. How much more important it is for us than the physical breath we take, than the physical food we consume, the word of the Lord to be taken, number one priority in our lives. How much reality has been required for us to note, rather than wasting our time in useless and worthless things. Isn't it a great dismay upon our part? that we still, like morons, think more cheaply than the Old Testament saints. 
The Old Testament saints, they think they are great. But you as a believer, being born and purchased by the blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, are greater because the Lord ourselves, uh, himself told for us. The one who has been born of a woman can never be greater than John the Baptist, but the one who is least in this kingdom is greater than John the Baptist. The least one, because he has been indwelled by the Trinity. The only thing is we are not able to apply it properly to our understanding, to our reasoning, to our intelligence. Do you know why? Because we don't have the mental ministry of God, the Holy Spirit, to be applied. That's why. Neither we are worried to take it. The pleading of ignorance, one more year to be allotted. Until unless Lord seems fit that you can recover because his omniscient Lord is going to keep you alive. And if one seems that you are not worth to be kept alive, he takes you back home. And the believer could be explained either he is dying a sinner to death by rejecting warning and intensified discipline when though Lord gives him the grace before judgment could come. He is the one who needs to be answerable to God, not to us. At the same time, I will no believer, no matter what it comes, odd and odd infinite reasons to excuse for ignoring Bible doctrine. Though he has a grace to learn the word of the Lord, Lord really extends his life. Therefore, dear brethren, it is of a great privilege for us, though being permanently involved by the Trinity, and given the completed can of scripture in our hands. And in fact, when given our authority and permission to call in the privacy of our priesthood for the confession of the sins. And call that great Lord by tearing off the veil which has been manifested for us to cry as Abba Father. If we are still ignorant and failures in the sight of the Lord, there can never be greater grieving and squelching and lying to the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit than this wretched generation who ignore doctrine. This wretched generation could be called as apostates, apostasy, heresies, who have not valued the importance of Bible doctrine, but rather they have learnt and taught to look upon the commandments of man rather than commandments of God. The rudiments of this world to be number one priority rather than the teachings of the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit thoroughly being trained and thoroughly being equipped for great battles of the Lord. Today, doctrine is required as it was always, but today, in this generation of this church age, it is required more in this Christendom. More of a truth to be communicated, more of a truth digged from the original languages of Bible doctrine have to be communicated. What exactly it meant to say. No privacy of your interpretation. No your personal application to it. But rather the reality, reality, reality of the truth. No man can know it until unless he knows the power of bending down his knees in humble subjection to learn from the feet of our Master Lord. Because no flesh and blood can teach for us. It could be taught only by the Spirit. Are revealed to the Spirit by Lord God the Father in heaven. We have Lord God the Father in heaven as our surety, and being manifested through His Son, revealed again into this earth, the third person of the Trinity, as our absolute confidence. Then what else we need to search other documents, other scriptures, other books? Apart from searching our own Bible, and respecting Him and honoring Him by getting down upon our knees. And if you want to be a pastor teacher, and if you haven't recognized that you have a bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, the only preparation would be if you could ask me to write at least once upon your knees the entire Bible. If possible, the second time in the original language of the scriptures. Because every word of the Lord is pure, and every word of the Lord has to be thoroughly executed. So which way you want to go, you decide. One more year being added, but it is one more day being added to our life. Walking one day at a time with our Lord will never make you to have the traffic blow, but rather it causes you to learn a drop by drop of water accumulating to become a great stream of ocean covered with the knowledge of Bible doctrine, with the mind of Christ, with the thinking of our Lord. We have been steady here alive to renovate our thinkings as Romans 12 too. 
And we need to have the same attitude, saith our Lord, in Philippians 2, 5. And we need to look the same thirsty which our Lord manifested in the fifth phrase where he was on the cross. The same manifestation of thirsty. The same humanity which was there alive on this earth. The same thing, same joy, same reverence, same absorption, same realization upon each and every believer to have towards the mind of Christ. Dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall continue in the next tape. Time is too short. The tapes are too long. I know men don't have time to listen to these tapes, but then it is my duty, as Lord God, the Holy Spirit leads me to tell, I am going to take it, the prepared information, what I have learned, pertinent to the doctrine of this church. You love it, take it, believe it, reject it or not, I don't care. My duty is to tell, because as Eskel was been warned to tell, whether the hear or for beer, your duty is to deliver. So I will. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord get the Holy Spirit and let us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, so that we could live a life that could be worthy. As the bond man who pleaded for thee for one more year for this plant, if it is not coming, then we shall throw it off. We are asking once again a lot to these people so that they could change their mind towards doctrine and they can live a life. Father, we are just asking a plea. We cannot go anything against thy will. If it is thy will, you perform it. If it seems not good in thy will, then you can do it, Lord. But we are here only to tell only one thing, Father. Thank you for your grace. Help us, strengthen us more to fight the battles of the Lord and to leave behind a great legendary impact as we are believers and be recorded in the history pillar of your temple. Whichever manner you seem fit that you have used to write the amazing deeds through the mental ministry of God, get the Holy Spirit. To this extent, we pray in Christ's name, Father. Amen.